Today we are going to review the Uproot Lint System. Um, it states on the box that it is so good I can't put it down. Most people, I'm sure you have seen these all over Facebook and um, probably TikTok and everything else. Um, they use it on the floors, getting dust and everything out of the corners. I am going to use it on a saddle pad. If it will get this clean, then it is worth its weight in gold. I received a small um, one that you can carry with you. Um, it's kind of hard doing this in the barn, but it will, I figure, be a better tutorial as I do not have um, carpet. The, mm, I guess that's metal. I'll get it closer where you can see it. I'm not really sure what those teeth are. And then let's just set this down. There is the handheld one. Um, it says you can use it on carpets, rugs, car mats, seats, and it tells you that you need to hold it at a 45 degree angle for tough fabrics. For delicate fabrics, such as clothing and bedding and furniture covers, you hold at a 90 degree angle and glide it across. Be gentle with the first swipes on delicate fabrics. And that is this one. And as you can see, it has the teeth on each side. And I can see why it says to be careful on delicate fabrics because it looks like it might would damage them. So and let's see what the other one is. This also says the same thing for tough fabrics hold at a 45 degree angle and glide and for delicate fabrics be gentle with the first swipes on delicate fabrics. You can watch a video on uprootclean.com slash how. And this one is a larger one, which might would work better on the saddle pad. And it's the same, except this part is plastic. Whereas this part was metal on the smaller one. Again, it still has the same teeth. They're not, they're rough on the sides, but it's more rounded and smooth on the tops. So, let's give it a go. I'm just putting it on here and gliding it across there and it seems like it's doing it exactly what it says it'll do.
Can you see the hair? 